Hi everyone, in this video we will be seeing how to implement artificial intelligence to a car in GTA Vice City game. And as you can see, at the right side there is a command box and at the left side there is there's our game. Uh, and here's a little box at here, which shows us the way. Actually, it's just showing for the for the lanes, red lanes, uh, and this is also Syntax Empire's inspired project. And the codes are uh, for controlling the codes and for preparing the data set. The, the codes are also this nearly the same, uh, but the deep learning part is totally different. Uh, because uh, it's actually due to the technical problems of me. Uh, he can use uh, GTX Titan, but my computer is 500, 500 euros. So this pushes me to use OpenCV for that, uh, actually use more effectively for that. Uh, I will tell the story behind the this project, but I want you to see the performance of it and then I will give the de details. Actually, it's not hard to write the TensorFlow and TFLearn part, uh, but it's hard to manage the OpenCV and finding how, finding the parameters of TensorFlow. Now, at the right side, as you can see, the command box here, and when I press D, there is something different, as you can see now, and this means that the computer has the control of our car. As you can see, it can stay the lane, but yeah, strange. I surprised actually, because I wasn't waiting for this turn. Uh, the problem of it, it can't detect the cars, but it can per nearly perfectly can detect the lanes. But as you can see, it can turn. Not that much, but it's also good. And let me take the control of it to make it in the in the lane. So, okay, I'm paused, and the control is on computer. Here, as you can see, it oscillates too much, but it can go. Oh, it it can go very fluently, and if there is no car, it can go more precisely because the crests are the problem of our model, uh, because the car is. We cannot take car. Uh, with this open CV, I don't know. Maybe the graphics of the game is not that powerful. So let me take another car. Now to see the movements easily, I will be using Panzer or Tank in GTA Vice City. And here is my vision of car. And let's. Let's press T and the control is on computer now. Okay, maybe not so healthy, but okay, let's make it. Let's push it to the more roadway. Okay, let me press T. The, the, con the computer takes control and it, it can follow the lanes, it can act according to lanes but it can't make precise turns maybe maybe the data set is not that good maybe the model model is not that good mm, but it's not hard to follow the lanes when the lanes are straight but as you can see it can turn strangely sometimes this amazes me but Mostly, this is not that good for turning, uh, but yeah, okay. Well, let me tell the story behind this project, and then we can 
we can show or we can look more to the project uh, well uh, at first this is the original GTA's uh, picture which as you can see the lanes are yellow or yellow like color but if you analyze this color in paint it it contains too much uh, color and this makes it hard to detect uh, with OpenCV so I changed the codes of the game uh, and make all lanes uh, pure red um, because and then it gets not hard to detect and we can do this project with making them uh, red and the Im image image big part part is like that uh, this is the picture that I shared on a stack overflow uh, when you click this and there is a code online for this and when you click the lane here as you can see at the left side just that color is shown on the left side uh, and this is the original image this is the rgb color and this is the picture on rgb color system and this is the only one color uh, contained on image and after that uh, the lanes are more good uh, my first approach to this uh, problem was uh, I was thinking that if I can take the slopes of these lines these lines or these lanes uh, I can also make a self-driving car but uh, that wasn't good idea because there's too much lanes and so it gets complicated for computer to understand and analyze the um, analyze my control my controls according to image and after that the, I I see the syntax model but he used convolution convolutional neural network because um, that's more precise way to do it but my computer is not that good my computer is not that good for convolutional neural network uh, in convolutional neural network you are just uh, taking this image and putting to the convolutional neural network but it can handle the colors and it can get the features uh, from image but my computer is not that good so my methodology to make this Tesla car is uh, taking only lanes and converting into grayscale range in image uh, this is because it will be too easy to implement and control by tensorflow's net uh, and this module is trained six or sorry three or uh, three hours uh, it's not that perfect but it's good actually the control is on computer now it can be in the line it can be in the lanes so it's not hard to be in the lanes but turnings are not that good probably another failure of me is that uh, after model uh, my data set is not that good so we i explained how uh, we can uh, process image on opencv and then i drive this mod drive a drive the car in gta yst and and then uh, i prepared a data set uh, which shows uh, which includes an image and at that time my co my controls of it and as you can see i'm training i'm making a data set at here uh, and then 
uh, this is the model that I trained before I tried too much to make it more precise and make it bigger as you can see at the top well in this module in this model it can go more precisely it can turn more precisely uh, but it still crash to the car because it's I couldn't find a way to detect a car if I can find it that will be too easy to make a car a self-driving car uh, and for now this is the project and the neural network that I use contains a, a 2000 of hidden layer and then 400 of hidden layer uh, if I use the convolution neural network that will be hard to train it but as you can see it's successful model maybe not successful but it's also good uh, make if I have a more good computer I can train it on this computer and I can use convolutional neural network and maybe I have maybe I can get more successful result but as you can see it can be in the lanes uh, it, it can adjust itself to be in the lanes uh, and and that's all actually let's watch more this model also this is the third video on internet as I see the first project is from Sentex and the second one is from Siraj Raval and if I'm not lying because I only saw two of them this is the third video on internet on uh, implementing artificial intelligence to a car in games and as you know Sentex used GTA 5 but I'm not that good also if I am if I as you can see let's check okay it can you can use motors and uh, motorcycles with that but uh, in GTA YST it's all it's always crashing uh, and you can't get a good result so if you want me to explain whole the project in English language because uh, my preference to explain it on is Turkish language because in, in Turkish language there is not much of a source on TensorFlow or uh, another deep learning libraries so if you are interested in this project I can explain it on English language uh, if there is a question of yours uh, you can message me on comments or uh, in the des description I will give my gmail and uh, you can also ask questions from here yes. thanks for watching